Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we're going to be continuing The Big Bang Theory with part 5 of season 6, okay? We are over halfway done in this season and I'm kind of sad because it, it's like the seasons get better and better but as the t excuse you you guys can't see him. My dog is sleeping and he just grumbled at me. I don't, I don't know why. He's like he wants me to get to the reaction but point that I was trying to make <laughs> is that it gets better and better as the seasons go on but as time goes on we are ending this show and it's such a good show it's so fun so I do have Victorious and iCarly Victorious is giving me issues okay they are giving me copyright issues on the show on the episodes themselves and the watermark is just atrocious and it's still claiming it um so that might have to be a patreon exclusive i don't know yet we will talk about that later um but we are going to be continuing iCarly if i make the decision that victorious just isn't going to be able to be a thing you'll be able to find it on patreon and then um we'll have to i'll put a poll out for another show um we'll do we'll still do three shows so if you guys like to watch my full-length reaction to Big Bang Theory, though, look at the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's continue the Big Bang Theory. Hey, will you see my uniform next? Yeah, well, interesting. Do you recall this conversation? Leonard, want to go halvesies on a steamer? Yeah, no, Sheldon, we don't need a steamer. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that rumpled chicken's come home to roost. You got better makeup than I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm borrowing this. Hey, 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 this is my Comic-Con makeup. I love you, but there are some things a man doesn't share with his girlfriend. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a wise policy. I feel like you guys just went to Comic-Con. That was San Diego Comic-Con. This is Bakersfield Comic-Con. How many are there? Better? Well, it's a lot smaller. It's more about the comic books, the way these conventions used to be before they went all Hollywood. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. Hold this. What the? What was that for? To show people when they don't believe me. <laughs> also, did anybody notice he put a newspaper there for the date of the picture when he literally just kind of showed the date on his phone? I don't know. Maybe maybe back then the phones didn't have that, but they, they should be able to timestamp it. Leonard says they're on the road and headed for Bakersfield at warp speed. <laughs> Maybe it's the mimosa, but I'm going to give the kid an LOL. <laughs> it's cute how excited they are. You should have seen Howard sewing his costume all week for the convention. I don't even understand why they go to these conventions. I know. Four of them work at a major university. They're all super smart. How can they still be into something made for 12-year-olds? I don't mind it. I think Howie's just in touch with his inner child. In a world where you can't fight back, superheroes provide meaningful wish fulfillment. This is true. Um, now I feel bad for picking on all those kids. <laughs> uh, in my defense, if Danny Biffle didn't want to eat a mouthful of dirt, he shouldn't have shown up to school wearing a bow tie. What's wrong with a bow tie? I mean, I wouldn't wear one to school, no. but... I mean, it's such an important part of their lives. Maybe we should try reading some. Seriously? Comic book store isn't far from here. Okay, how many of these have I had? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, Penny watched Star Trek, didn't she? Because Leonard was into it. I could see her going into this. Bear left and continue on Interstate 210. What did you do, Hackett? Ooh, sounds like that fellow knows what he's talking about. I'll put on my listening ears if I were you. <laughs> what did you do? I found a hack online. I was able to upload MP3 recordings of my voice to your GPS. That's Ooh, funny. Counterpoint. No, it's not. <laughs> Continue on Interstate 210 for five miles. Oh my god. Here's an interesting fact about this. <laughs> really? He even put the interesting facts in? Interesting. Odd numbered routes run north and south. Three digit route numbers indicate bypasses or spurs. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know this stuff before Sheldon explained it to me. We're not that far from Vasquez Rocks. Oh, they shot a lot of Star Trek episodes out there. We got our costumes in the trunk. We could go oh, there and have a little no. photo shoot. Great idea. Recalculate. <laughs> While we're waiting, do you know which president signed the Interstate Highway System Act into law? The answer, coming up in 14 miles. Oh, my God. 
Oh, I gotta watch Hellboy. Oh. Why are they staring? Who cares? Just soak it in. <laughs> Literally, what's going on here? Staring, like, stop. Girls. It's nothing you haven't seen in movies or in drawings. <laughs> hey, Stuart. What kind of comics do the guys like? Um, a little bit of everything. Mostly superhero stuff. All right, well, who's the best superhero? Oh, here we go. Don't ask that question. Ask a question like that in here? Are you trying to start a rumble? <laughs> Literally. Don't ask that kind of question. Uh, what do you recommend? <laughs> I always recommend a Spider-Man comic book if you're going to start with comics, because that's what I started with as a kid. <laughs> for you, I'd go for Fables number one. The artwork is sophisticated, it's intelligently written, and it doesn't objectify or stereotype women. Ooh, Thor, he's hot. There it goes. Yeah, he kind of is. Okay, Stuart. Oh my god! And we're blending, and we're blending, <laughs> and we're done. I know Mr. Data isn't supposed to smile, but here it comes. <laughs> That's creepy. Come on, guys, let's do this. Yeah, and is that a. Bald cap on. Oh my god. Is he supposed to be Patrick Stewart's character, Leonard? Sheldon, how is that a fight pose? Mr. Data's weapon is his mind. I'm wielding it. <laughs> wow. Peace is on the bog. This is a lot. Charlie's angels. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a lot. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Leonard's getting into it. <laughs> oh my god, Leonard, someone's stealing your car. Oh! What? Hey, hey, come back here. Oh, stealing is against the law. I think they know that. <laughs> Anybody got any ideas? Nope. The only thing left to do now is assign blame. Nice going. <laughs> What's wrong with people? Why don't they stop? Maybe we're better off. You know, what if we were to get in a car with a crazy person? Look yeah. Like Sheldon, we're the crazy people. <laughs> what, you think just because you're wearing captain's uniform, you're in charge? Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I was going to say, all right then. Okay, I'm done. Did you guys finish so fast? You know, there were a lot of pictures, and one page only had the word wreck a doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I have street smarts. Okay, but when you're what reading you comic think? books and, like, well, graphic novels, there was a lot of action, mm. and like, the, story the pictures mean a lot. Pace. It was overall, what's the word I'm looking for? Stupid? So stupid. Well, which one did we read? I don't know how Leonard can get so caught up in this. What a waste of time. I know. A hammer's so heavy that no one else can pick it up. <laughs> oh, it's Thor. Girl! I don't think it's heavy. I think it's some sort of magic so only Thor can lift it. Exactly. <laughs> Even less sense. No, oh, no. no. It Here we go. Here we go. Thor is a god. Yep. The hammer is his. Only he can use it. It's like... It was made for him. <laughs> His thin beckoning lips. I don't think that's a good comparison, but, but okay. Hang on. Touching it with his god magic, does that mean I could lift it? No. Yes. Well, no, because oh, you don't have the power of Thor. Maybe we missed something. Let's read it again. Okay. Yeah. Look at them. Wait, I thought we were reading. We are. We're just uh giving you a head start. <laughs> oh my god. Let the girl enjoy her comic book. Oh, God. I wish my mom was here. We could all hang out in her shadow. <laughs> Wolf pants in the desert. We're Starfleet officers and a member of the Borg Collective. Please, Sheldon, I am so not in the mood. Leonard, all our lives we have dreamed of finding ourselves inside one of the fantasy worlds we love, relying only on our wits, our fortitude, and our moxie. As long as we have those things, nothing Nurse! can stop us. <laughs> oh. I hate this planet. 
Whoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Really? It, it's not that hard of a concept. Worthy? Does the hammer decide? Odin! Yes. <laughs> well, I don't know. You tell me. I don't really know that one. It's a hammer. You said it's a magic hammer. Yeah, but it, it can't make decisions. It was made in Nidavellir. If you're going to start comparing wands and hammers, can't even take you seriously. <laughs> Oh God, they made it to somewhere. Oh no, oh no. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, 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 four glasses of water, please. Can I use your phone? Our car got stolen. Why don't you ask Scotty to beam you up? Oh my God. Well, at least they know what they're doing. We're not with him. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's gonna beat them all up. <laughs> you can't pick something up in outer space. In space, there is no up. Leonard and Sheldon have boxes of comics across the hall. Why don't we go look at those? Oh, great, yes, and then you will see I am not wrong. Because if we were in outer space, if anyone could pick up the hammer because it would be floating around in a weightless environment. That's yeah, not how that works. <laughs> low reader, you science, suck on that. That reminds me a lot of when uh, Captain America made this statement about how Thor's hammer can be lifted by an elevator. And he was like, well, the elevator's not worthy. <laughs> Going to the Comic Con in Bakersfield, they have a big costume contest. It's cooler than it sounds. <laughs> I don't know, sounds pretty cool. You guys need me to call someone? I'm guessing your mom's. No. <laughs> Thanks, but we've got it covered. Okay, I just talked to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Howard. <laughs> you arranged for us to get a rental car. After all we've been through, I just want to go home. Don't be like that. Come on, Howard, talk to him. I'm with Leonard. I'm done. Two against two. How do we decide? Actually, it's three against one. Oh, what? even well, Sheldon do doesn't want to go. We're a real life landing party. Yeah, well, we're not. We're an imaginary landing party. Oh. We have real life garbage thrown at us. Did we at least rent the car from Enterprise? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Enterprise. <laughs> It's not the Show time, Raj. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! They made it through the whole collection. The hammer. Yeah. Then by the transitive property of picking things up, Hulk picked up the hammer. Not really. No. It's in Thor's yeah. hand. Hulk oh my God. If I go to a bar and pick up a guy, and he picks up a girl, and then we all leave together, did I pick up the girl? No. <laughs> I like that logic. <laughs> did that ever happen? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Well, I say that's the last time we ever go outside. Look right here. Red Hulk is picking up Thor's hammer because Thor's touching it. Sheldon might freak out that they're touching the comic books. Huh. This strap is part of the hammer. <laughs> Are they actually arguing about comic books? How could Red Hulk be worthy? You don't know. Oh, God. Not. They made it all the way to Red Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only one logical explanation. Somewhere in the desert, we cross into an alternate dimension where the women in our lives can finally appreciate great literature. <laughs> if it's an alternate dimension, sounds like a job for a landing party. Oh my god. Captain, what are your orders? <laughs> I say we investigate. Oh my god, they put it back on. They might be hostile. <laughs> Fine, but set them to stun. We vaporize Penny, I'll never find a girlfriend that pretty again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Michael god. Eisenhower signed the Federal Aid Highway Act from his hospital room. Ow. That is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something new every day. Can you name the four state capitals that are not served by the interstate system? Ooh, another quiz? <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, your food's getting cold. <laughs> I'll eat later. Mm. Right now, I'm suckling at the informative bosom of Mother Physics. What the hell? Who says that? Well, it's Sheldon. Sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can pick your wardrobe. You can even choose your accessories. 
Leonard, you can get a little asthma inhaler. <laughs> Think about all the action figures we've bought over the years. What do you think, Sheldon? What an action figure that looks just like you? Would it come with Kung Fu Grip? Oh my God. No? Don't waste my time. <laughs> you get that these are personalized action figures. Honey, if you want one, just get one. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Hang on a second. Aries, where are you? Oh, you're... Where were you hiding? No, no, no. Over here. Over here. On this side. Where were you hiding? You're funny. You know that? You were funny. <laughs> You're funny. Ooh! This is why I said stop standing on the arm of the chair. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Are you? No, stop. You just fell off of it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> He's ridiculous. That's funny. <laughs> Go lay down, please. I just wanted to see where you were. <laughs> he makes his move. He's dividing both sides by I. He's adding back the coefficient. He has a value for P. He's plugging that back in. He takes the derivative <laughs> and he solves the equation. The crowd goes wild. No Woo! Bill. No bill. <laughs> Don't look at my board. Oh my God! It's a train. What's that? It's a train. Really cool train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at that either. What do you want? The university is only allowed to submit one proposal. So they ask you to pack up your things and ship out. That's hard cheese. <laughs> You're one of the good ones. No, they're making us work together. Oh, God. That's ridiculous. Hmm. Kind of a strange place to put a picture of you and Bernadette. Well, I wanted everybody to know I love my wife. <laughs> and nobody to know I forgot to turn off the laser. Oh, that's why. <laughs> the best $500 I've ever spent. Oh boy. $1,000 on action figures? How can you afford that? Easy. His family's loaded and Bernadette has a great job. My wife came with both fun bags and money bags. <laughs> Say hello to an exact scale model of me. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, I'm not dark chocolate. I'm melting him out caramel. <laughs> 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 Look at my nose! Ah, he looks like if Pinocchio lied! What? Yeah, maybe Wesley Snipes and Toucan Sam just got action figures that look like you guys. <laughs> look at my face. <laughs> Do I look smug? I feel smug. <laughs> hate it when you make me sit through all the credits. Well, sometimes there's a secret ending, like in The Avengers. Yeah, but I don't think that's gonna happen in a documentary about the Holocaust. Oh. <laughs> oh no. What is that? That that's is Star Wars. Sheldon's I'm unhappy and about to destroy the planet music. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's just go to your place. Well, wait, if he's unhappy, shouldn't we talk to him? <laughs> you doing okay, sweetie? <laughs> playing and there's an afghan over my head the university's forcing me to work with a kripke i'm outraged so coco yes coco <laughs> do you have any idea what it's like to be paired with someone who's so incredibly annoying oh teacher me me <laughs> i'm angrier than ever and filled with despair what beverage do you make for that oh no 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 i know this Hot apple cider with cinnamon sticks? Yes! yes. <laughs> what the fwig, Koopa? Uh-oh. What happened? We were supposed to be in my office a half an hour ago. And yet now you're in my office. Point, Cooper. Welcome <laughs> to the Thunderdome, Kripke. Oh, my God. <laughs> we agreed to exchange copies of our work. Let me see yours. Why don't you show me yours first? How do I know you're not going to take my ideas and publish them as your own? How do I know you're not going to do that with mine? Yeah, because I'm not interested in getting published in Mad Magazine. <laughs> Zingers fly fast in the Thunderdome, Barry. Nice twy. This is blank paper. And I'm sure it's still more valuable than whatever's in here. <laughs> Cough it up, Cooper. Very well. Maybe he didn't print it out yet. Oh, he did. Okay. If this one's blank too, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs>
Oh my god. Yo, always bet on black. Get that waste of money out of my face. It's only a waste of money if we don't play with them. There is a way we can get action figures to look exactly like us. Oh, yeah, how's that? Two words, 3D printer. But maybe it's three words. No. No, that's that's okay. technically two One words. One word, a letter, and a number, and maybe a hyphen. <laughs> 3D printer. Yeah, but they're so expensive. Oh, come on. You deserve one. You worked hard to find a woman who makes a lot of money. <laughs> well, the prices have been coming down. Oh, yeah, true. They're practically giving them away. And we can make stuff we need for work with it. You know, prototypes of my CAD CAM design, specialized tools. Not to mention Malibu Kutrupali and his totally bitching dream house. What the hell? <laughs> We don't need Malibu Kutrapali's dream house. Really, smart guy? Where's he supposed to park his sweet little Corvette? You've been awfully quiet tonight. Is everything okay? I'm fine. All right, well, how was work today? Did you exchange your research with Kripke? Yes. <laughs> Sheldon, what's going on? I read his research. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's leaps and bounds ahead of mine. Oh. Which means the mommy of the smartest physicist at the university is not my mommy as I had thought. <laughs> it's his mommy. May I offer you a consoling hug? What do we have to lose? <laughs> you know what? That takes a lot for Sheldon to actually admit that, though. It really does. Why'd you stop? <laughs> Was that a good thing? Sheldon, we're gonna be late. He's not going to work. Can't go in today. I'm sick. One hundred and twenty-eight. <laughs> See? You'd be dead. What did you do? Put this in your tea? <laughs> oh dear. Now I'm not even smarter than you. Oh, don't play the Einstein card. Now his great breakthroughs happened when no one knew anything. So everything was a great breakthrough. <laughs> Sheldon Lee Cooper, I do not have time for this nonsense. Now go put your clothes on, get in the car, and let's go to work. Wow. All right, jeez. <laughs> he used the whole entire legal name. Do you realize by owning a 3D printer, we are reclaiming the manufacturing process and taking jobs back from sweatshops in China? I think this thing was made in China. <laughs> Oh my god. Amazing. You realize these things go for 25 cents a pop at a party store. And they made it in only three hours. Give me a superhero pose and I will scan you into the computer for your action figure. Oh, I wish I was in better shape. <laughs> there you go. Stop holding your stomach in, I'll give you a six pack with the computer. All right, you can suck it in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper, we have a problem. Your work is wee-wee, not at a level I expected it to be. Go ahead and mock me. Just use small words so I understand. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. We both know what your problem is. We do? You have a girlfriend. So? So? My work would suffer too if I was getting weighed all the time. He's got, uh, well, you're, you're, he's not, so. You lucky bastard. Well, what can I say? You know, she enjoys my genitals. <laughs> I am giving them to her on a nightly basis. Okay, stop wagging. With Amy and our bathing suit areas mushed together. Oh my God. <laughs> is it boy howdy? Is it magic? <laughs> say hello to my little friend. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so cute! I know, right? And thanks to photographs and little 3D modeling, here comes the bride. Oh! Oh, Howie, I love these! I thought you might. Were they expensive? It didn't cost a thing. I made them myself. How? Kuther Polly and I bought a used 3D printer for $5,000. <laughs> Just a couple of dolls for as many dolls as we want <laughs> and whistles and anything else you can make At any point did it dawn on you to talk to me about spending this kind of money 
It's kind of dawning on me now. <laughs> I can't believe you! What are you talking about? We make plenty of money. I make plenty of money. You make peanuts. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, but we're married now. That means when you get sick, I take care of you. Here's how love works. You're gonna return the machine, or you could print out a working set of lady parts and sleep with those. Oh, God. Oh, my God, are you actually thinking about it? <laughs> I don't understand. Why didn't you just tell Kripke the truth? Because the truth made me look bad. Whereas a ridiculous, bald-faced lie makes me look good. <laughs> anyway, if Kripke asks, tell him my coitus with Amy is frequent, intense, and whimsically inventive. Oh, my God. Not whimsically invented. <laughs> is my coitus whimsically invented? <laughs> that is what I write on the bathroom walls. For a whimsically inventive time, call Leonard Hofstetter. <laughs> <laughs> you ever gonna sleep with Amy? Oh my god. Even Leonard That's was shocked by personal. that. We don't ask Sheldon things like that. Maybe you don't, I do. What's the deal? <laughs> That's not your business, though, Petty. Word around the university is I'm giving her sex organs a proper jostling. She would clearly like to have a physical relationship with you. So what are you doing? All right, we're down the rabbit hole. What are you doing? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm quite fond of Amy. And what's the problem? All my life, I have been uncomfortable with the sort of physical contact that comes easily to others. Handshaking, hugging, prostate exams. <laughs> I don't think that comes easily to people, but go on. Just recently, I had to put vapo rub on Amy's chest. Now, a year ago, that would have been unthinkable. Now you know how I feel when I have to put it on you. <laughs> Hang on, are you saying someday you and Amy might actually get physical? <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, I know this wasn't easy for you, and I'm really glad we could have this conversation. <laughs> Give up your half of the 3D printer? Yes. And can you please make that out to Bernadette? I was taken off the joint account until I learned the value of money. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's harsh. Are you gonna eat lunch? Nah, I blew my food allowance on Pokemon cards. <laughs> oh my god! Well, the equation balances, but it's certainly not elegant. Whatever. You get any last night? Yes. <laughs> gave it to her good, huh? Oh my god, Kripke. No, I gave it to her well. <laughs> now. Over here, I was thinking the turbulence could be reduced if we yeah, just put... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was she naked or was she wearing lingerie? Oh, my God. Kripke? You guys ever use any toys? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's stop. <Boy. laughs> I do have a model rocket next to my bed. A rocket? You're a freak! I love it! Not the... <laughs> oh, my God. Why I avoided the Harry Potter books for so long. These are great. I just started number six. That's a good one. Dumbledore dies in that one. Sheldon! Yeah, I know. I didn't see it coming either. Why would you say that? You brought up a subject. I contributed an interesting fact on that subject. That was a huge spoiler. Good. What is wrong with you? If I did that, you'd bitch about it for weeks. Yeah, oh, really, Leonard? Are you gonna have another one of your hissy fits? Hissy fits? I have hissy fits? Yes. Here we and go. I have a theory why. I think your morning cocoa puffs are turning you into a hysterical woman. Oh my God. <laughs> you are unbelievable. You know, I don't know why I put up with you. Nag, nag, nag. No, this is actually You're not funny. My point, little lady. <laughs> you know what? Screw you, Sheldon. You're the most annoying person I have ever met. Well, I'm annoying. You criticize my behavior all the time. You don't throw away my shirts because you think they're ugly. You're impossible. Oh my God. That's it. I don't. I don't have to put up with this. Uh, actually, I have your signature on a roommate agreement that says you do. Here's what I think of your roommate. He's going to throw it away. Oh. <laughs> you pick that up right now. 
No. Roommate agreement section 27 paragraph 5. The roommate agreement, like the American flag, cannot touch the ground. I don't have to do anything, you say, because I don't think I want to live here anymore. Yeah. Where are you going? Live with Penny and not you, you crazy bastard. <laughs> crazy bastard? Yes. No, I actually, I think Leonard this was a very Knight. serious what? thing with a lot of laugh tracks. Dobby the Elf dies in book seven. Bro! Not even kidding. If somebody spoiled that for me when I was watching those movies on my channel two years ago, I would have been highly mad about that. So I get where Leonard's coming from with this. That's just the, that's just the tipping point. But you don't say thank you? It's my suitcase. I lent it to you two years ago. Well, then I should tell you I broke the wheel and the handle. <laughs> oh, my God. Cool. Did she discover a cure for something? Not exactly. They spent a ton of money developing this dandruff medication that had the side effect of horrible anal leakage. Ew. Is there a good anal leakage? <laughs> hey, I got a favor to ask. Sure. My mom's been kind of an emotional wreck since that dentist she was dating dumped her. Dumped her? What, did he use a forklift? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Sorry. <laughs> There's nothing funny about morbid obesity. She's huge. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was just hoping that maybe you could check in on her tomorrow night and make sure she's doing okay. Dude, I'm a single man. Saturday night is my party night. You're not going to talk to a woman, Raj. Hey, wait, what do you got going on? You pay $15 to park. You stand on the sidewalk for an hour until you break down and give the bouncer 20 bucks to let you in. You push your way to the bar where you drink an $18 Cosmopolitan. Then you stare at a pretty girl and imagine your perfect life together, your children. Then you give up on anyone never loving you. Go to Marie Callender's, buy a pie, and eat it in your car in the parking lot. Oh my God, that's sad. What time should I be at your mother's? I told her around seven. <laughs> That man is the most egotistical, insufferable human being I have ever met. Yeah, but you two make such a cute couple. <laughs> like Bert and Ernie. No. <laughs> you guys even teach me stuff about words and numbers. <laughs> well, I've had it. Wow. So where are you going to go? Well, I was thinking here with you. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't think this was going to go the way it planned. Oh. He's like, oh. <laughs> No, it's 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 great. It's terrific. I you know, I just can't help feel bad about Sheldon. He's got Amy now. Yeah, he does, but it's not the same. All right. Um well, um all right. You, you know how in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Ron didn't abandon Harry just because Harry started dating Ron's sister? Harry Don't. Get together. Oh my god. Everybody's spoiling the whole book for him. My point is, as much as I want to live with you, I can't do it knowing how much Sheldon needs you. Uh, please, the only thing he needs me for is to be his whipping boy, his, his stooge, his doormat. Well, you know what they say, if it ain't broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's really about Penny not wanting it to live with him. sounds to me like you don't want us to live together. No. Yeah. That's a really big step. Is it? We're together all the time. Financially, it makes great sense. Can you think of one reason why we shouldn't do this? Well, well, um, it's scary. It can be. There's a reason why me and my boyfriend haven't moved in together yet. It's a big step. It is. I got nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't freak out. You can make this work. Oh, could you clear off a shelf for me in the bathroom? I take a lot of medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please let some of it be Xanax. <laughs> Are you ready for dessert? Oh, that looks like a, an amazing meal. No, hold on. You, Mrs. Did we finally I see her? No. Hold on. Oh, that is her. No, thank you, Mrs. <laughs> As it is, I'm going to have to carry my stomach out of here like I'm a fireman rescuing an infant. <laughs> Didn't know you could have a cyst inside another cyst. The doctor said they were like Russian nesting dolls. <laughs> well, if you have to go, how about I put a little doggy bag together for you? Are you okay? Don't mind me. I just cry when I'm lonely and have nothing to live for. Oh my God. <laughs> I, uh, I suppose I could stay for some dessert. Great. You like chocolate chip cheesecake? Sure. Oh I'll my God. One. <laughs> oh my God, there she is again. <laughs> one Star Trek, the next generation phaser. That's Leonard's.
children's toy. <laughs> One Game of Thrones collector's edition long claw sword. Oh, Leonard and I bought that together. So, uh, what's your plan moving forward? Uh, I suppose I'll have to find and cultivate a new roommate. What a task that will be. Do you know how uncivilized Leonard was when I took him in? Oh, it took me forever to get him on a bathroom schedule. <laughs> no, he would just go whenever the mood struck him. Like a dog boy. Exactly. That's what... What okay. if you could find a roommate who was a scientist and already familiar and comfortable with your ways? Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> no questions asked, Sheldon. Wait, uh, here who is where? You said no questions asked. Me? Aren't I your perfect roommate? I'm not a stranger. We're intellectually compatible. I'm willing to chauffeur you around town. And your personality quirks, which others find abhorrent or rage-inducing, I find cute as a button. That's true. <laughs> um. Tell me one reason why this isn't a fantastic idea. Um. <laughs> Sheldon. See? Good buddy, Leonard. Good buddy, Leonard. Oh, God. Good buddy, Leonard. What do you want? Hey, good buddy. So, uh, I was just talking to Amy, and she made me realize that this little dust-up between you and me is much ado about nothing. And then I'll tell you about our exciting new devil-may-care bathroom policy. <laughs> Cut to the chase, Sheldon. Okay. Amy's decided she wants to move in with me, so I need you to come back home, you lovable scamp. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, pal. I'm not going anywhere. Penny and I are very happy living together. Isn't that right? Oh, God, she's gonna... Like the happiness won't ever leave the apartment. <laughs> oh, no. Leonard, please. You know Amy moving in marks a level of intimacy our relationship isn't ready for. Yes, that is a real thing. That's exactly that what's going on. Care about each other. It just means things are moving at a pace you're not comfortable with, and that's fine. Maybe he doesn't know how to say it without hurting her feelings. The feelings? What, am I a hippie at a love-in? No. <laughs> The problem is, she laid out a series of logical arguments that I couldn't refute. That is the worst, isn't it? Yes. I'm sorry, Sheldon. I can't help you. Oh, spoiler alert. This door's about to slam in your face. <laughs> when do I get a key to our apartment? Oh, God. <laughs> um. um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. What time did you leave? Uh, he didn't. Actually, I'm still here. <laughs> you spent the night? Yeah. After dinner, we watched a rerun of Rockford Files, and uh, then she opened a bottle of uh, cream sherry, and the next thing I know, she was tucking me into your bed. <laughs> Oh boy, breakfast! Oh my god. Raj, listen to me. You need to get out of there. But I have a cream sherry hangover and I smell blinces. If you don't leave now, she'll use food and guilt to keep you there for the rest of your life. Literally. Stop. Trust me, you're not Jewish. That's how they get you. <laughs> you're being silly. I can leave whenever I want. They're on the chair, right over... Oh no. Oy vey. <laughs> Hello, homewrecker. Oh my god! Thanks to you, Amy's out buying his and hers bath towels. Oh my god. I can never dry myself with something that has a possessive pronoun on it. Okay, listen. The truth is, I don't want him living with me. Great. Kick him out. Break his heart. Everybody wins. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to break his heart. I love him. If you don't want to live with Leonard, why don't you just tell him? You know how he is. He's sensitive and emotional. That's because he drinks too much soy milk. <laughs> well, I don't know what else we can do but tell them the truth. I suppose there's no choice but to face the crying. Here's some more ice. Oh, thanks. Uh-oh, what happened? I should have just done it the regular way. <laughs> Those Chinese acrobats in Cirque du Soleil made it look so easy. If it had been that far, you'd be doing us both a favor. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh oh. Raj is in trouble. You're still at my mother's? I'm trapped. My clothes have been in the laundry all day and she hid my keys. I 
I think there might be in her bra because she jingles when she walks. <laughs> She's not gonna bathe me, is she? <laughs> Gee, I wish I could tell you no. Oh god. That's not good. Should we go back and rescue him? It's too late. We'll see him at his bar mitzvah. <laughs> Here you go. There is he up okay? The food just the way Leonard used to. It's a Kung Pao chicken. Amy. Are you worried that us living together will take the mystery out of our relationship? No. Yeah, why would you? Oh, and uh, check this out. I took the liberty of scripting a new outgoing voicemail message for both of us. Uh-oh. Hello, this is Sheldon. And this is Amy. We're not home right now. Cause we out dropping science, son. <laughs> Leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> you can't live here. <laughs> what? It's not the message. Well, what is it then? I did everything just the way you like it. You did. Then what the hell, Sheldon? <laughs> <laughs> we have been going out for over two years and I have been nothing but patient with you. I even stopped wearing lip gloss because you said it made my mouth look too slippery. I am the best girlfriend you're ever gonna have. You give me one good reason why I can't live here. Oh, that makes sense. It's Penny's fault. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Hey Ames. Yeah, hey Ames, nothing. I was all set to move in with Sheldon and now I hear I can't cause you don't wanna live with Leonard. What? Oh no. Sheldon, what did you say? I said the truth. You don't wanna live with Leonard and you know it. Since when don't you wanna live with me? Oh, don't get all huffy. You're the one who decided to move in without even asking me if I was ready. You're a coward. Well, the evidence does support that. <laughs> Come on, Amy. Let's go drink wine and talk about what jerks our boyfriends are. You know what would show them? I should move in here with you. Oh my God. Do you wanna catch up on some Walking Dead? Wait, 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 wait. Have you seen the one where Lori dies? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I anticipated that he was going to do no. something like that. Or maybe she doesn't. Let's find out. Yep. Nope. Not even going to listen. Not even going to listen. Nope. That was a close one. Where you going? <laughs> All right, so that was part five for season six of the of wow of the Walking Dead of the Big Bang Theory, and I'm really glad that at the end there, I anticipated that Sheldon was gonna say something spoilery because of how he did the beginning of the episode or of the episode. I didn't hear it. I took my headphones off, so I didn't hear it. So we're all good. Reason why I'm saying is because I haven't watched the Walking Dead yet. And I'm going to be doing that this year. So. <laughs> Anything that's spoilery, please tell me if there's an episode that they're going to spoil The Walking Dead or anything else that I might be watching soon because I don't want The Big Bang Theory to ruin anything like that. Sheldon, I will be mad at Sheldon. I'll stop watching the show. Like, I swear. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you'd like to watch a full-length reaction of my Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.